Sadnam Aloha. So Pluto is on the move again, and it takes Pluto 248 years to orbit the sun. So that's 248 years to circle around the Mandela. And because Pluto's orbit takes so long to move right around the Mandela, it affects the whole human collective in powerful ways. So it's moving out of the shadow of psychosis, and it's been in the shadow since February 2019. And this is why most of the world seems to have gone insane, right, under this shadow of psychosis. So now Pluto is moving out of the shadow of psychosis into the shadow of limitation. So shadow of limitation is the 60th hexagram or the 60th gate. And Pluto moves there on January 15th, 2022. So it's basically going to stay there until December 5th, 2025. So that's almost four years. So you can see here that the 60th is part of the channel of mutation coming off the root chakra, right? The 60 to the 30. So this is going to be a very mutative time for humanity and an opportunity for you to individuate, which means to become your authentic self during this time period. So we're about to get a deep, prolonged experience of limitation for the next four years. And if you find yourself groaning right now, you know, your mind saying, I can't take any more of this. This is crazy. When are we going to get a break? I just want to remind you that you're made for these challenging times. You know, they needed big guns, so they brought in a big gun and you are the big gun. So do you know the number of great souls that are on the planet right now, right? You're awakening from the dream. And maybe you've been asleep in this dream, this lifetime, maybe many, many lifetimes. So this is the resistance that we all have to move through. So it's like, you know, you've been an athlete in your early years, and then you just drop it all as you age. And then you start working out again. And it's hell at first. And then your muscles have memory, right? That kicks in. The muscles have memory and you start to feel good again. And you remember why you worked out in the first place. It's the same thing. You have memory. And what are you remembering? Your warrior spirit. And this is what's getting activated right now. And why do they call some of us spiritual warriors? What exactly are we battling? You may say, well, we're battling the darkness, evil, of course. What are we really battling? And where is this battle taking place? Well, the real battle is not taking place outside there, outside in the external world. The real battle is taking place within each one of us. And the battle is for our heart, our spiritual heart, our sacred heart. That's why we're seeing so many wounded with myocarditis, right? Heart attacks or dying from heart issues. This is symbolic of this internal battle that's going on. So the battle is going on within the collective unconscious of humanity. And the ancient words for that, we would say the battle between heaven and hell, the battle between good and evil, the battle between angels and demons, the battle between God and Satan. Well, the modern words for this battle is the battle between light and shadow. It's all the same thing. So we all contain light and shadow. We're a mixture of both. So we're living in a collective dream. And if we're not awake in this dream, we automatically project our shadow out into the world. And then it plays out on the external, on the world stage. And then we believe that we have no responsibility for what we see. So this is what we're waking up to. The world is a mirror of the collective unconscious of humanity. We humans who are asleep are trying to fix the problems by going to the effect. We're not going to the cause. It's like you have food on your face. You know, sometimes you get food stuck on your face, especially if you have a beard. 
right? And then you're trying to rub it off on the mirror, right? Why won't that, why won't that food disappear off the mirror? Well, you've got to go to the cause. You've got to wipe it off your face. So the outer world is a mirror to what's going on within each one of us. So, for example, we get angry with Bill Gates. If we get rid of Bill Gates and send him to prison, does the problem go away? No. That shadow consciousness is the root. So it moves through someone else. It's not personal in that sense, right? It's like whack-a-mole game. It will pop up in someone else. So we have to go to the root, which is to the shadow, to the shadow consciousness. We go to the cause, not the effect. So real change begins with the individual, not the collective. The individual is the mutative being. The collective isn't mutative. The individual is a mutative being. So and as an individual, we go inside. We do an inventory. We make inquiries. We're honest with ourselves. So remember, it's a spiritual law that the answer comes with the question. The solution walks hand in hand with the problem. So if you ask yourself the right question, the answer will emerge if you're patient and you wait. So let's use an example, a practical example. I like practicality. So I look in the collective mirror out there. Right? I look out in the world stage. What do I see? Well, I see a tyrant that wants to control and dominate humanity. The next question is, what feelings does that bring up in me? Well, it makes me angry or it makes me depressed. I want to punch him in the face, right? Or do I feel helpless and powerless? I want to hide or do something to get rid of these uncomfortable feelings that are coming up in me. Right there, there's your work. There's plenty right there to work with and integrate and alchemize. That's the shadow. That's the shadow. So let go of focusing on the mirror and then taking it inside. So no more focusing on the mirror and what the details and what they're doing and go up nitpicking through all the shadow. No, stop focusing on the mirror and then take it inside. And then you ask yourself some bullseye questions. Where in my life do I try to control and dominate others? The answer could be, well, I don't know. I'm at a loss. I can't see it. This is often the case, right, with shadow. You can't see your shadow. So you have to go deeper. Well, what are my closest relationships telling me? What feedback am I receiving? Well, my partner says I'm a control freak. Right? So instead of the usual reaction, no, I'm not. I'm not a control freak. Right? And then you start listing everything about your partner and what's wrong with them. And, or you get angry and you have visions of wanting to punch him in the face. Right? Of well, of course I wouldn't do that because I'm a spiritual, right? I'm a, a spiritual nice person. Well, this is an example of keeping your focus on the mirror and not going to the root cause. Right? Back to you. So you don't listen to the shadow talk because that's all shadow talk, the blame and complain. It's you, it's not me, right? I'm okay, there, there's something wrong with you. You want to persist, persist, commit and go deeper. And then you come to some awarenesses here, right? Well, it's true. I do like things done my way, right? And no one does it my way. I do it the best. And I, and I do I like to control the people close to me. In fact, I need to have control, right? These answers will start to emerge if you're patient. So this is a little example of how the shadow works. And it seems benign, right? But that is your little tyrant inside you trying to oppress another person. Okay, you're not out there cracking skulls or forcing people to put things in their body. But at the subtle level, it's the same energy, right? And so when it's combined with others, it creates a magnification of the shadow. Why? So that we can see it. That's the point, so that we can see it. 
So this is how the individual shadow pattern feeds the collective shadow of domination and control. So imagine almost 8 billion people projecting this shadow out into the world. It's going to be magnified. So let's go to the flip side. And you may say, well, I don't control or dominate people. I'm gentle. I'm, I'm passive. Right? I'm innocent. Right? If anything, it's them that are trying to control and dominate me. Well, this too is the same shadow. Same coin, different side. So you look at how you control yourself. How do you dominate yourself? Do you not allow yourself to let loose sometimes and do fun things and relax? Are you controlling in your speech? Do you control every little morsel of food that passes your lips? Right? Do you control your communication? Not saying what you really think. Dominating your emotions with your mind. I shouldn't feel sad. I shouldn't feel upset because my sister has it worse than me. So, in fact, your own mind becomes your tyrant. This, too, also feeds the collective shadow of domination and control. So, our work right now in this great shift of the ages is to balance the light and shadow within each one of us. And when we alchemize the shadow into our being, we no longer see it out there in the world. So the world is only showing us our self and what needs to be brought into wholeness, which is also healing. And this requires self-discipline. You know, and the shadow frequency right now has a very strong pull, very, very strong pull, because it's in its death throes. So the ones without roots are swept away by the storm of the shadow. So this means the ones without a deep connection to their true identity, a deep connection to their divinity, they have no roots. So it's like in a storm, the trees that are without roots, they fall to the ground. So shadow work is not easy. I'm not going to lie to you. But it brings long-lasting change swiftly which takes us to Pluto and the shadow of limitation for these next four years. So there's a lot to talk about with this particular shadow pattern, and I'll probably do more videos on this transit. Okay, so uh, you'll get different perspectives on this uh, shadow pattern. So at the mundane level, We'll probably see more lockdowns and curfews and restrictions, you know, to travel or what you can do, where you can go, limitations on speech, limitation on information, you know, more government bureaucracy, the shadow rules, red tape and bureaucracy, rules and rules and rules and more rules, right? The devil is in the details, so this is an example of the shadow of limitation. Like, and Pluto will dig up all that old buried trauma of feeling limited. All those times in your life you felt limited. So not just for the generations that are alive today, but all of our ancestral trauma around limitation will come up as well. So at a spiritual level, what, what's going on here? Well, we're building up our power. We're building up our power. So think of water. Water that's unconfined. Where does it go? You know, you spill water out on the, out on the road or out near grass, right in your yard. Where does it go? Well, it goes wherever it wants to go, doesn't it? It disperses. There's not much power there. Now think of a dam, like a big dam, Hoover Dam. Right? And that dam releases. There's a lot of power in that water, isn't there? Because it's contained, it's limited. So this is the purpose of limitation, is to build up your power, to react in anger or depression or hopelessness or despair, is to disperse your power. 
So when you start to experience limitation in your life, don't start fighting with the shadow, you know, punch in the mirror. You're, you're the one that's going to end up with bloody hands. So we need to find the sacredness of life again. We walk on sacred land every single day. Beneath your feet right now is the sacred. So try to imagine yourself at a spiritual retreat. Your whole life right now until 2027, you're on a spiritual retreat. Your attitude will be different, right? It's different at a spiritual retreat. Everything and everyone is fraught with so much meaning. It's like the divine is moving through each person. Every experience is bringing you closer to God. That's what a spiritual retreat is like. Well, when you're triggered, and you're going to get triggered, guaranteed, right? Issue restraint, right? Limit yourself first. If you don't limit yourself, life is going to limit you, right? It's going to do it for you. If you don't challenge yourself, life will challenge you. So off the top of my head, I mean, limits could be your sadna practice, your spiritual practice, something that you do every day. That's a limit. You're setting a limit. Limit your reactions, right? Refuse to lash out at the mirror in anger. Take that emotion and keep it inside and allow it to shatter your heart open. That's alchemy. Limit the words you speak, right? Our words have power. I'm going to do a whole full video just on the subject of words and language. It's not important right now. Limit the energy that you put out in the world, right? It's an energy game right now. It's all about energy. And the way power and energy works is changing. The ego is getting neutered, It's right? The ego's tubes are getting tied. It's getting castrated. The old ways of getting energy from others using the ego is no longer going to work. So you have to be rooted in your own divine power source, right? So limit the energy that you give to others. Now, the, the television, the mainstream news is an energy sucker, right? If you've got a TV, you've got to toss that out to the trash tonight, right? You need to limit what you watch the television is the worst for an energy sucker. So if you're at a loss of how you're leaking your energy and dispersing your power, then you got to go and find yourself a projector. And they're going to let you know that's their job. Projectors are here to let you generators, manifesting generators, reflectors, manifestors, let you all know how you're leaking your energy. So if you don't know your type, you don't know any of this stuff, then order one of my recorded readings. So the opportunity for growth in these next four years is incredible. It's off the charts. So when you take your power back, you learn to build your power, you be, form a relationship with your power, well, then you can see, right? Then you can truly become a co-creator an awakened dreamer, and we can dream another world together, a beautiful, expanded world. So please don't poo-poo shadow work, right? The ego in the shadow want to say, you got to do something. You got to take action. That's the old way. We're coming into a whole new paradigm. The only way out is in. And all these kinds of thoughts they're all coming from your shadow, and right? And it's all about keeping you from your power right now. Pluto's all about power. So the solution is to go inside. And the shadow of limitation in its own twisted way is forcing us to go inside. And there's a whole undiscovered universe inside each one of us. So I'm going to talk about this shadow in other videos, okay? I, just, I don't want to make this too long, this video. So I want to remind people about my recorded readings, right? They show you what you need to cultivate, your uniqueness. This is the battle, too, for our uniqueness and becoming the Borg, right? And your power is in your uniqueness. And that's what food you need to eat, 
that's unique to you, the environment you need to be in, that's unique to you, how your brain works, what you're supposed to see out in the world, how you to make your decisions all based on your human design chart. So it's still $25 off. So order yours today. It's over a one and a half hours long. And if you already have it, go back and listen to it again. You'll be surprised at like, oh, I didn't hear that before, right? Because you become more and more open, more and more information can get in and land. And also my mother wound and father wound webinars, two separate webinars. You can get both of them for $99, over 16 hours of content. And if you need, you know you need to do some healing and forgiveness work with your earthly mother and father, most of us do, then you want to look at that. And also any issues with authority, it all goes back to issues with the father, okay? So please leave your comments and thank you to everyone who's donated or purchased one of my products. I really appreciate it. And thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, and ringing that bell. You can follow me on Telegram, Instagram, Odyssey, Facebook, and better yet, sign up for my free newsletter. Well, I, this is where I give the Zoom links for the free group meditation. So there'll be definitely one on January 22nd, 2022, because that's the start of the real new year, the energetic start, when that sun comes all the way down back to the 41st hexagram, the start code on. Okay, I'll see you next video in Satnam Aloha.